See, I don't even... I'm gonna say none, I couldn't even finish one bite. I don't think I said this last time. My eyes are tearing up just looking at the spices. Puh. Ah, did I just make Al laugh? Yeah, I think he likes this. Ow, don't laugh, it's rude. Whatever. It's okay, I don't mind. I know, it's pretty pathetic. <laughs> It's just spicy food. Don't have, don't drag yourself over it. Hmm. Now Al looks troubled. At least you gave it a go, Jayum. Nice try. Thanks, Hong Yang. I had a bite, but my tolerance is just too low. That's a shame. But I guess we're both pretty intolerant when it comes to spicy foods. But I like my personality spicy, like Al. Haha. <laughs> Not really, though. I I kind of don't like Al. Mm-hmm. Yes, Hong Yang and I have something in common. We can bond over this. Wait, is this... <sighs> but I made Al laugh. Who's happy about this? I don't know. <laughs> I made Al laugh, but I think this was actually a choice for Hong Yang. I, I almost feel like I should go back, because I don't know if there's like a such a thing as a perfect ending. Like, I don't know... Who who in, who likes this choice? I think I've already read this one. God, I don't. I think this is for Emily. You know, I think it's it, it was crazy spicy. I think Hong Yang sounds less impressed. Okay, yeah, this one has Hong Yang praising me. This one has Hong Yang praising me. Um. Wow, what's going on here? <laughs> Let's scroll back a bit. I don't think I've read this. Let's see. Is that praise or is he just messing with Hong Yang? Why are you always like this? Oops. Now, now, fellas. But seriously, Jayum, I would never think of you as a coward. Is she coming on to me? I thought you were asexual. You've always been a really cool guy to me. I see those flowers around your head, you thought. <laughs> you, have you just been lying in the other routes? You're not actually asexual? Gee. Where did those flowers come from? They probably mean something. Thanks, MC. Um... Now they're just explaining- why can't I skip through this? They're just explaining her stupid nickname. Alright. Last time I asked them to make me one, so I guess I'll make one up myself. You think Kuro is secretly bipolar. What the hell does that mean? I mean, I know what it means, but why- what do you mean you think I am? While we're all getting friendly, you two should call me by my nickname, too. Oh, sure. Alright, what is it? You have a nickname? <laughs> yup. Call me G. Puh. G? I have never heard anyone call you that before. You trying to be a rapper or something? Ah, uh, no. Sorry, Jayum. I don't think I can call you that. Why does everyone have to be a dick? Yeah, it doesn't suit your image. My... my image? You're less of a G and more of a baby chicken. H huh? A b b b baby chicken? Huh. <laughs> MC, don't laugh. Now that you mentioned it, it's the hair, right? M my hair? Yeah, reminds me of little cartoon chickens we see on TV. Eh, I don't know how to feel about that. It's cute. Oh, Al likes that. Did he just call me cute? I didn't think this would be so easy. <laughs> uh... I guess I just attract all the fags. I mean, I'm just that hot. They're small and fluffy. Oh, he meant the cartoon chickens. 
I'm still pretty fucking hot, though. I didn't know you still like such childish things. Fuck off. Language! Yeah. There's the one colored person in the game. Alright, um... And he's not a love interest. <laughs> Alright. Um, I guess exercise, because that's what... Um... What's this Al would like, right? I think. Does he want me to be a buff? Am I too twinky for Al? Is that... Is that what's happening here? I'm too twinky for Al. He wants a twunk. Little hunk. Alright. I should try and stay fit. If I want to compare myself to Ao or Hong Yang, then my body image doesn't amount to much. It's a sad thought, but I'll use this to motivate me. Alright, let's do some crunches. <laughs> uh, I don't think Ao or Hong Yang ha even have like a six pack or anything though, do they? They don't look that fit. I don't know. Cook? Al likes food, I believe? What? <sighs> Bitch, then what is Emily like? Then you're saying Emily would like the exercise. I don't know. I don't know what this... I don't know what to do. I'm sticking with exercise. Phew, I really worked up a sweat. I should have a shower before I go to bed. But before that, I think I should text one of the guys about my fitness achievements. I'll just get right in front of the mirror, take out my phone, pop a selfie, maybe show off a little pubic hair while I do it. <laughs> They'll love that. If I'm gonna win them over, I'll have to interact with them, of course. Who would be the most impressed? Ow, obviously. Kuro's bipolar because he makes voices perfectly, only a really good actor or a bipolar person can do that? Or you're just stupid? You might be stupid. Like, just gonna keep it 100. Just gonna keep it 100. He's a bit standoffish, but Al might reply if I send him a photo of my workout. Oh, yes. Like, make sure you have a big bulge in the picture. He's gonna love that. Oh. How'd you... I guess he positioned his phone while he was doing the crunches because I don't see who else took that picture for him I'm working out there you need to work on your your selfie game man that's awful although I have no room to talk but that's still bad no response figures <laughs> Oh, God. Do you even lift, bruh? He replied. What year does he think it is? 2011? Yeah, bruh. I'm gonna lift your spirits. Okay, maybe that was weird. What does he mean, lift his spirits? I don't... Is he sad? That's what the message implies. I don't think mm -hmm. Al is sad. I don't get it. Ass. Ass I? Uh. It was meant to say, as if, stupid autocorrect. Don't think anything weird. I'm not thinking about your ass right now, okay? Don't send me a picture of your ass, alright? Are you, are you listening to me? Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> I'm just glad he responded, though. Shit, why am I feeling happy just because he messaged me back? This is all for Emily's sake. I have to make Ow take an interest in me. That's right. Ugh, I must be tired. Time to hit the shower before going to bed. I have a long week ahead of me. Oh no! Someone arrived. Zoinks. This one guy. Anyway. Another day, another chance to win some hearts. I got to school a little later than... Wait, no, earlier. What? I'm just... What? Early? Later? Earlier? I'm so stupid. I got to school a little earlier than usual, hoping I'd be the first to greet Ao or Hong Yang when they got here. Huh? 
Did I miss the map? Wait, I can skip this. This is all... Ah! He meowed at me. Um, I think being the villain would make, um, Al happy. You want to be the villain? That's right. I'll use my powers to cause mayhem and destruction. Why would you ever choose to be the villain? Because without a bad guy, heroes would be nothing. You can't have good without evil. If everyone was good, then there would be no need for heroes. No bank robberies, no kidnappings, no evil organizations trying to take over the world. The people with power would just have to live their lives like any other normal citizen. Civilian. So, in a way, you're the greatest hero of us all. What? That's right, you get it, MC. I don't get it. Jayum is saying that even with powers, without something to drive people to do good, the powers they possess will be wasted. Wow, she's getting all flowery with me again. Am I accidentally romancing Emily, who's asexual? What's going on here? Emily, get out! Get out of this game! <laughs> we have no time for you. He is willing to present himself as a villain in order to bring out the best in everyone! Unite the people against a common enemy! She really gets it. I still don't get it. Oh my god, I'm just failing to romance the people I want to romance, and that is just a huge issue. I didn't read that. What do you say? You can be my first victim, Al. Nah, mate. <laughs> you really thought that hard about this? I did. ji is a really considerate person. He always has been. Thanks, MC. After I place the world in despair, you'll have to take care of the aftermath by bringing joy to everyone. Keeping me in business, I see. That's right. W wait, shit. I'm supposed to be romancing the guys. Why did Emily end up being the one that connects with me the most? Damn, I guess I'm really just- I'm really just out for- I'm, I'm just out for that pussy. I just can't get away from it, it's so sweet. Ah, uh, we really are best friends, aren't we? Yeah, just best friends. J JK about the pussy. Ah! Oh my gosh, the creator of the game. Um, yikes. There's the bell! <laughs> uh, oh wait, I think I can skip through this part now. Okay, so we're exercising again, because I've got to keep fit. Now this time, we better really send Ow a... A really, um, sensual picture, because last time it was no good. That really gave my core a good workout. But I don't think only doing sit-ups is going to help with my overall fitness. Maybe I should try a whole workout regime. I guess I could search for different workout routines on the internet. But this gives me an excuse to message one of the guys. Who am I going to spend time on tonight? <laughs> I like how he says that, like he's a player. I did not mean to press that. Like he's an absolute player that's just messaging all the guys. Let's see if he has any advice. Hey bro, you got any tips or tricks for workout ideas? Oh dear, why am I typing like that? I guess his... His broness just infected you. What? Ah, uh, well, this is embarrassing. You wait. You've you figured you should help out. The way to pronounce James' name is sort of like gum, but with a prolonged M. So I've been God. Well, God damn, I've been saying it wrong. I said it wrong so many different ways now. Um, gum. I I don't I don't know how to say it with a prolonged M. What does that even mean? Goom ga goom gum gum goom gum. I don't I don't I can't <laughs> I can't do this. 
sorry, I'm just wondering if you have any tips or what kind of exercise I should do if I want to improve my fitness. Gum, gum, gum. Um. Why didn't you just say that? Sorry, God, and I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. My lord. Not my dog, actually. Someone else's dog. Someone else's dog. Is he ghosting me? What do you want to work on? Cardio, upper body, legs, flexibility? Why is he acting like some kind of expert? Because I've seen his body. He don't look ripped. He doesn't look like he's in great shape, honestly. He looks really thin, honestly. He does. He looks like a toothpick. He replied. Cardio, I guess. Gotta keep this twink form. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Running, swimming, rowing, and cycling. He gave a proper answer. Thanks, Al. Maybe we can go running together sometime. Okay, now he's actually ghosting me. He ain't depressed, no worry about no worries about Gum's mental health. Well, God bless Gum, if only all of us could be just like him. Lord. All right, let's skip right ahead through this. Oh my god, we have to do the minigame again. Oh lord, help us. This time... Um... Yes. Maybe I can actually get some, um... All of the stickers this time, since last time... I was reading everyone's dialogue, and now I just skipped through it all. Oh my god! Oh, I guess there was only three in the end. Wow. <laughs> I guess there's just enough time to read all the dialogue and get all the stickers. Just three stickers? Damn. Alright. Find out. He might be the easiest to flirt with. I don't think he would be. I just hope he doesn't get mad and try to hurt me. Ah, ow. Huh? What do you want? Oh no, I didn't think this far ahead. What should I say? Um, your glasses make you look smart. You have beautiful hair. Which one would you like? Your... No, uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. You have beautiful hair? You kind of look like a chick from behind. <laughs> Was that a good compliment? Uh, oh god, I'm fucking up, aren't I? I just wanted to say that I think you have beautiful hair. What? what I mean, it's very long and well kept, and it has a lot of volume. It's. <laughs> it's it, what kind of shampoo do you use? It has a nice shine to it. What, what the hell am I saying? Why are you being a weirdo? I, I'm not. I just think your hair looks like it smells really good. Would you mind if I if I took a little sniff? Oh God. <laughs> oh, is, am I striking out? This is normally the part where people say thank you. It's just hair. I don't do anything special or anything. He's blushing. He uses head and shoulders. <laughs> uh, Pantene. Regardless, I just want to know... I just want you to know that it looks good. Right. I think he liked it. What do I... S I mean, what do I say now? Dyeing your hair blue must have taken a while. When I dyed mine, it took a couple of hours before I could get it this color. You. Have. No. Idea. Oh my god, yes. Let's talk about our hair dyeing experiences. Oh my god. I wouldn't know. We have to do it over a whole weekend because we did it at home instead of going to a pro. Uh, oh. Ugh. He's shy again. I wonder if I can get him to open up more. Just crack him open like a nut. And enjoy the delicious nut juice inside. You did it at home? Y y yeah I want to know more. R really Yes. Well, if you're so bored, I guess I can tell you. 
Biden sniffing. <laughs> oh lord, yes. Ugh, that's something Biden would do. We had to bleach my hair three times since my natural color is dark. Didn't put the color in until next day. That took ages too. Is that so? He's kind of cute when he's this talkative. Yeah, he had to... Wait. Yeah, he had to section it into like 500 parts and color each one separately. He? Who? Ah, uh, j just the person that helped me. No, not Hong Yang. A friend? No, not really. Hmm. Anyway, did you need something or are we done? Oh, he was talking about Hong Yang. Ooh, I'm gonna steal you away from Hong Yang. Just you wait and see. I guess we're done. All right, I'm going then. Thanks for earlier. Oh, you're welcome. Whatever, bye. <laughs> well, that wasn't a complete failure. No face cam, girl. Ugh. It's like, I took off face cam for a while, then I brought it back. Because I was feeling okay again. But then I instantly, within like a couple weeks, felt awful again. Ugh. And then it hasn't been back since. It's It's a struggle. Every day is a struggle. No, I'm not exercising. Bitch, you've only done it, like, twice. God damn it. He's, he's, he is refusing. <sighs> he's refusing to do what I want. Is this even, I've only exercised twice. I thought you do it three times before he, he's a bitch and won't, won't listen to me. Are you some kind of sadist? Won't, won't you let me rest for one day? I didn't want to do this, but exercising is no longer an option. God! It's like, he can only study for three days straight, exercise for two days straight. You're pathetic, goom. Okay? You're never going to get the man of your dreams. Ugh. I just... Two days of exercising. He's done. He's... <laughs> he's just given up. You know, you're going to have a fat fucking ass. Fat fucking belly. And Al isn't going to like us. So, you know what? Eat, piggy. Eat. You know what? I think I will eat. I will be a good little piggy and eat. Well, that settles it. I'll make myself something to eat. Maybe I'll gain a couple pounds. Who cares, Kuro? Fuck you too, bitch. Just trying to help you. Just trying to help you. Pizza toast. The poor man's pizza. It's getting late. I should finish up and head to bed. A message from Al? Oi. Wow, I can even hear his attitude through the text message. Hey Al, what's up? I need your help with something. Um, okay, what's up? Don't go telling anyone else I asked you about this, though. He's acting strange. Yeah, sure. So, what is it? Is he too embarrassed to ask for my help after all? Come on, I'm an anonymous hole if you want me to be. Don't worry about it. Wh what? I'll deal with it myself. Talk to you later. Wh what the? Okay, that was odd. Aren't you Lindsay's piggy? You know, Isaac, I could ban you. Alright, um... I think we should... We have to be honest, because they'll get pissed, and they won't talk to me if I fly to them. Flirt with Al. Al is more my type. Fuck what you say. Ow, language. But yes, what he said. <laughs> Your faces. You two need to relax. S 
so it was a joke? No, no, I'm serious. You're definitely more my type. Your reactions to what I say are just too adorable. Uh, 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 adorable? Hey, Goom, this isn't funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm dead serious. I didn't realize you swung that way, Goom. You're gay. I mean, you're gay, eh? No, bye. Wait, I think the skip option is here. I think I can skip. Yeah, I can skip. Um... Well, he let me exercise today. Uh, are you gonna allow that, Goom? Or are you gonna have a little hissy fit? I don't know. We'll see. Why don't you try picking the option? You know what? I will. My body feels a little stiff today. I guess I'll do some light stretching and exercise to loosen up. Yeah, damn right you'll do some exercise, fucker. Think you can talk back to me all the time? This is a really abusive relationship. Uh... I think I just made it worse. Now my leg is cramping. Are you happy, Kuro? You know what? I think I am happy, Goom. Ouch. From time to time... <laughs> it's funny. He's in pain and then he just starts talking about his guitar. <laughs> but I skipped through all that shit. I'm getting a text from Al so late at night. Ah, it's a photo. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous. God. Uh, who is this fine feline? My cat, Noah. I thought I'd show him off to you. He wanted to show off his cat to me? Well, I've got a pussy I can show him. Noah, he's adorable. I love him already. I thought you would. How can you use that word so easily? What word? The L word. Do you mean love? Yeah, that. Oh my goodness, he's shy. He's too cute, just like his cat. It's easy to speak the truth. Does that come off as a little too condescending? Ah. Oh. Adorable. I wish I could play with him. You can come over next time. Oh my god, yes? Really? Are you being serious? Are we really going to get it to go over? I doubt it. There won't be any next time. Ow, I need to know. Now he's just not going to respond. Noah! Bitch, you can't just tease us. There's no nudes in this game. Oh, I know that. Doesn't stop this thirsty chat from wishing there were nudes in this game. Y'all... Thirsty, thirst, thirsty. I mean, I don't know, does this change anything? Maybe I should choose the wrong answers and see if that does anything. I don't know. Because I keep choosing the right answers. It's nice outside. I'll find somewhere shady to eat. Huh? Eh. I was here. Should I leave him alone? Sorry, I was just looking for somewhere to eat. Oi. You don't have to leave. You can sit with me, I don't care. Oh jeez, he's cute. If you don't mind, thank you. I make my way over and sit down next to him. You do... You do well on the test, Kuro. You're so smart. Thank you. I know I'm so smart. I just... I wish more people could realize that and constantly compliment me on it, you know? Everyone really should. It's just the right thing to do. I make my way over and sit down next to him. This silence is a little awkward. So, what you having? Oh! I made some salad and big brain curl. Now you're reminding me of 
of Big Brain Miguel. <laughs> no, don't remind me of Miguel's Big Brain, no. Uh, I made some salad and rice with leftover meat sauce. You made that? It doesn't look shit. <laughs> well, thanks. I only put a little bit of my shit in it. <laughs> you can barely taste it in there. Want a bite? Is that his way of complimenting me? Thanks. Do you want to try some? Eh? He's blushing. Man, he's adorable. Yeah, I'll try some. Should I feed it to him? No way, that's too much. Just hand over the box, that's what a normal person would do. But I want to see him say, ah, and I'm not really all that normal now, am I? What should I do? Um... Spoon feed him. Although I doubt he'll allow me to. I know Hong Yang didn't want to feed me. I was very offended. This might be my only chance. I scoop up a spoonful of rice and meat sauce, lifting it to hover inches away from his lips. Here, say ah. Ah. He looks really disconcerted about this. Damn. Like, what does he think we're gonna do to him? Eh? Did I finish Hong Yang's roots? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Um, I haven't uploaded that yet, though. Um, because I still need to edit it and stuff. And render it. Um, what the fuck? I hope... I hold my ground, refusing to move the spoon. Al furrows his brows, darting his gaze between me and the spoon. He glances to either side of us before returning to face me. Uh. 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 He's letting me feed him, but he really does look distressed. I slowly guide the spoon into Al's mouth and watch as he bites down. Here comes the birdie! <laughs> Um, he makes an um sound when he bites down. That's pretty cute. So he's actually letting me feed him? I let the spoon dangle in his mouth for a moment. I'm distracted by his expression and almost forget to withdraw my hand. Do you want me to feed you something else now, Al? We can go to the bathroom. <laughs> Just kidding. How is it? This is good. Goom, you're a decent cook. <laughs> Thank you! I usually only have sandwiches for lunch, so if I can eat food like this every day, then, you know? No, I don't know. His face reddens from embarrassment. At least, I think it's embarrassment. Ugh. I just like good food, alright? I'm not trying to say your food makes me happy or anything. <laughs> sure. You can try my cooking any time. I'm happy to share. Really? Yes. Al's eyes light up with excitement. Oh man, he's cute. Oi, can I ask you something? Go ahead. How do you, you know, act so friendly? What do you mean? You just talk to people so naturally. Everyone seems to like you as well. Oh right, I don't often see Ao talk to anyone besides Hong Yang MC and myself. Even then, he and Hong Yang don't really talk so much as argue with one another. Well, I guess it all starts with taking an interest in someone. If I meet someone I want to be friends with, I'll make an effort to talk to them, ask them questions, get to know them. Tch. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know how to s what to say to people. And whenever I do say something, it comes out wrong. Oh my god, I feel you, Al. What is even is talking to people? I don't know how to do it. He did mention that he wanted to work on his personality. I'm not sure I have any real advice to give you, Al. I just do what comes naturally to me, and you should do the same. If I just do what comes naturally, people will hate me. I don't hate you. Neither does MC. 
Why why are you saying that though? You, did you forget your purpose here? <laughs> maybe you should have said maybe maybe she hates you. <laughs> That's true. I'm not sure about Hong Yang though. Uh How did you become friends with those two anyway? MC and Hong Yang? Yes. Hong Yang is my neighbor. We aren't exactly friends, we're just always near each other. MC. Even I don't know how we became friends. She just started talking to me in class one day and keeps talking to me every now and then. I wish I could be more like that. Ow, you're fine the way you are. Why are you trying so hard to change? Someone tell me I'm fine the way I am. Please, thanks. Not saying. And here I thought we were bonding. Ugh. If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. I don't have any good qualities. When I was in primary school, someone I thought was my friend said to me, I only let you play with me because I feel sorry for you and you don't have any real friends. That really bugged me. I think since that moment, I've had my doubts about whether people actually want to be around me or not. Who said something so cruel? I don't even remember. It was so long ago. Well, that person is an ass. People like that aren't your friends, Al. They're trash. I... Friends are people that want to be with you for you. You don't need to change for them. You say that, uh, I mean, you say that, Goom, but, um... Why are you here in the first place? If you wanted to change for yourself, that's entirely different. But you should never pretend to be someone else for the sake of another. G Goom. Ah, so sorry. I, I didn't mean to go off like that. No. I think I needed to hear that. Thanks. Any time, Al. Looks like break is over. We should eat together more often. We should eat each other. Haha, <laughs> wink wink. Whatever, I don't care either way. That's what he says, but I think he's secretly happy to have company. I'm glad I decided to eat outside today. Um, so I'm guessing... <laughs> he's not gonna let me do anything. I should cook. On second thought, no, I've been working hard at school. Kuro, you know what you have to do. You know nothing else is gonna work. Just do it. Oh shit, I didn't even... <laughs> I won't even give you the opportunity to just choose sleep. Well, fuck me then. Fuck me then. Alright. I wonder what happens if you stay home. I'm gonna save. Where's the save button? Why can't I see it? Um, let's save... Uh, let's go to the carnival. You know what? There might be something new this year. I should go. Why am I reading this? Let's invite Al. I'll shoot Al a text and see if he's keen. Hey Al, are you free today? Why? St. Albans Carnival is on today. I was thinking of going. Care to join me? Now? Yes. Sure, I'll meet you there at 10. See you soon. Yes, he agreed to come hang out with me after school. I'm kind of excited now. <laughs> Ow, sorry I'm late. Wow, this is my first time... What, wait, what voice am I doing? Wow, this is my first time seeing him in clothes other than our school uniform. I'm not blown away, sis. Um, looks like he just rolled out of bed. Did he just come from the gym or something? Me? Yeah, maybe the gym. Maybe just came out of bed. I don't know. Just wearing sweatpants. Grr. Huh. He's pissed. If you're sorry, then buy me food. Ow, you know, normally people would respond with, don't worry, I just got here myself. Why would I lie about something like that? 
I said be here at 10 and you're 20 minutes late. He has a point. Right, sorry. I didn't picture him to be such a stickler for punctuality. Okay, yeah, what do you want to eat? Goom has much better fashion sense? Well, clearly. Potato stick. I can't get over them calling it potato stick. What? What is a is a potato stick not a french fry? What is a potato stick? Is it literally- like, I don't understand. He looks happy at the prospect of food. Okay, let's go. Like, literally, what is a potato stick? We converse as we make our way over to the food stall. Yeah, I know, I'm I'm also thinking, is it a humongous french fry? Like, what is it? Like, like, I don't know. I want the chili one. You're good at handling spicy food, aren't you? Damn right. A whole potato on a stick? <laughs> you just bite into it like a candied apple. <laughs> uh... Another name for it is Potato Twist. Uh, sister, you've you've lost me. I'll have to look up Potato Twist then. What the? I don't know food. I don't go out to eat a lot. Um. Okay, that's interesting. I just looked it up. Okay, that actually looks kind of yummy. Oh my god, I'm kind of hungry now. Yeah, I've never heard of Potato Twist. I don't know if they even have that here in the, um, Trump land. <laughs> anyway. I need a- I need a good kick of flavor in my mouth. Is that so? Otherwise, food tastes pretty boring to me. I'll just get the chicken salt. Chicken salt? What? Alright, well, I don't know- too many foods I don't understand. Chicken salt? What is that? Literally? <laughs> I mean, I can't I can't make sense of that. Chicken salt? Sounds self-explanatory. Doesn't sound the best. That's good, too. <laughs> what flavors don't you like? Oh, that's a... Wait, is that a flavor of potato? A, a flavor of potato twist? Too bland. Every other flavor also has salt in it. It's a waste to get salt on its own. That's true. I oh know, the silhouettes. The colored people. We stand in line for a good 10 minutes, but the food is worth the wait. I hand one of the potato sticks to Al while taking a bite out of my own. Should we keep walking? Yeah. Although it's not yet noon, the carnival is already crowded. It's difficult to walk while eating without bumping into other people. Grr. Al looked particularly annoyed when a lineup of people walked across our path. Hey, let's go this way. I ducked behind one of the stalls to a less crowded alleyway. Heh, <laughs> keep the marmite to yourself. Oi. Al follows, but in the process of evading the crowd, he drops his potato stick on the ground. Tch. He's annoyed. Here, you can have some of mine! Oh my god, let's eat off it together at the same time. And then, like, we'll... we'll like, our mouths will meet on the potato stick. Like, like Lady and the Tramp? Are you guys following? <laughs> I don't know if this would work. I hold my potato stick out for him. Instead of taking it, Al just glances away and furrows his brow. No, that one is yours. I don't want it. The look on his face betrays his words. Yes, very romantic. I, I don't know if it was that romantic. <laughs> it's okay, really. He's still reluctant. I thought we had gotten close enough to share food by now. Was I mistaken? Have, have, have we gotten that close? Questionable. We continue down the alleyway until we come out of the main road. There's less people here. There are a couple of stalls set up with games. Oh no, I'm gonna have to click on ducks or something. Boy, let's play something. I'm pretty sure these games are rigged, but Al looks excited about playing. 
Sure, what should we try? That one. He points to a stall with a giant tuxedo cat plush toy hanging off the side. Oh my god, look at his eyes. I want that cat. Heh, <laughs> you have good taste. Let's go. Once we reach the stall, we see what kind of game we have to play. Hit the ducks when they pop up. Hit all ten to win the big prize. Psh, easy. Should we work together? I promise to do my best. You better, let's do this. This music again, something something minigame. What if I failed this? Like, what would happen? I bet something else would happen. Ah, oh, the music's getting intense. I hit 10 ducks! We did it! Yes! Hey mister, we hit all 10 ducks. That means we get the big cat toy now, right? That's the deal. You two make one heck of a team. I did all the work, though. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Who's taking the toy? Oh shit, I didn't think about who would get to keep it. I really want it for myself, but I should let Al have it, right? Y you can take it, Al. Eh? Didn't you say that you wanted the cat? I do, but you want it as well? I have an actual cat at home. We got this because you said you wanted the cat. What? Does that mean you went through all the effort of playing just to win this for me? Stop acting a fool. We're the ones who won that cat, not him. He went through no effort. He did nothing. Oi, d don't misunderstand. I just wanted to play a game, didn't matter what. It, it just so happens that you wanted the cat toy this stall had. But Al very clearly pointed to this stall earlier. Did he already know I was going to want the cat? Haha, <laughs> I see. Thank you, Al. Wh whatever Huh? Grrr. You're welcome. <laughs> There's lots of people here. We have been here for a couple of hours already. It's too crowded. Maybe it's time to leave. I look around for something to distract Al from all the people. Food? We already ate. Games? We already did that. Sex? Haven't tried that. Do you want to try out one of the rides? I'm the ride. There's a ferris wheel over there. No. Wow, shot down. Uh, okay. There needs to be something that we can do. I'm not good with heights. You're afraid of heights? Oi, I'm not afraid of anything. I just said I'm not good with them. That's pretty surprising. Whatever. Goo. Y yes was it really all right being with me today? Well, what do you mean? I know I'm not the most interesting person to hang out with. You'd probably rather be with Emily right now. Actually, I'd rather be with Hong Yang. He was my first choice. <laughs> you're just the second route. Actually, third. <laughs> you're you're kind of not high on the list. But did you have fun today? It was kind of whatever, actually. I mean, take it or leave it. Um... I wouldn't want to be with anyone else. Short answer, yes. Long answer, hell yeah. I didn't want to be with anyone other than you today. I mean, did you see how awesome of a team we were during that duck shooting game? If you talk about that duck shooting game in which I, Kuro, the player, did all the work, Goom, you did nothing, Al, you did nothing. And you try to you try to say that Al did everything, I'm gonna be mm, I'm gonna be pissed off. That was pretty awesome. Right? When you agreed to come to the carnival with me this morning, I was really happy. Seriously? Yeah. Al, I'm surprised Isaac's still here. Al, I like hanging out with you. Are you sure? 
Dude, just how low is your self-esteem? Who are you talking to, Goom? Cause low. Low is the non-existent? Is that... Is there a box that says non-existent that I can tick? Ow, we played games, ate yummy food, and I found out a secret about you. What secret? Yeah, what secret? Did I miss it? That you're afraid of heights. Oh, yeah. I'm not afraid. Right. <laughs> Does it look like I wasn't having fun with you today? No. Exactly. It's okay to have a little confidence in yourself. Thanks. Let me spin this on you. Did you have fun today? Y yar. Uh, okay, I guess you're a fucking pirate now. Whatever the hell. What was fun? The food. You're really gluttonous, aren't you? Don't use big words around me. <laughs> I'll buy you food anytime you want. Is there anything you wanted to do? Me? Huh. Flirt! Actually, give me your hand. M my hand? Al cautiously raises his right hand. I press my left hand against his. They're nearly identical in length. Dang, he doesn't have yaoi hands? But what are you doing? This is what I wanted to do. Are they just holding hands? I bend my fingers, entangling them with Al's. <laughs> Bet you never, ever dreamed of doing something this lewd in public, huh? Do you feel my fucking fingers intertangling with yours? Does it turn you on? His palms are getting sweaty. Do you like feeling the moisture between our hands? Are you getting hard right now? Th this is what you want to do? Hold hands? Yup. Ugh. Is this too much skin shit for him? I bet everyone's looking at us, looking at the whores that dared, that dared ruin this family event. It just turns me on so much. He's really cute when he's embarrassed, it makes me want to bully him. Can we stop now? Sure. I loosen my grip as we part. I slide my ring finger slowly down his hand. He flinches but doesn't retract. It really is fun to bully him. We chatted for a little while longer, walking around the carnival with no set destination. It was nice just exploring the streets with Al. I really got to see a different side to him today. That was the end of my first date with Al. Hey, wait a second. That's funny. Today... I mean, that day didn't... I remember in Hong Yang's route, um, towards the end of the date, he was... Goom was like, um... God, stop vibrating. Goom was like, um... <laughs> he said something along the lines of, Oh, I should remember why I'm really doing this. Not, not to... It's not because I actually like Al. I mean, not because I actually like Hong Yang. But he didn't say that with this date with Al. What the hell? And also, should I have found another picture for this? Because it bothers me how there's a choice to put in his family's picture. Like, do, can I unlock another choice? I don't know. Ow! Shush. Why is he shushing me? Hide next to the window. Oh god, it's gonna be Hong Yang confessing to MC. And then MC is gonna be like... I- I'm an asexual queen! Alright. What? why So, what did you need? That's Emily's voice. It's coming from outside. There is another choice. Oh, then I have to find it. Oh, so much work. I push myself against the wall next to Al and peer out the window. You suddenly came up to me asking to speak in private. This must be it. Hong Yang must be asking her out now. But then why is Al hiding and spying? 
I know it's very early in the morning, but I didn't want to miss this opportunity. What's up? MC, I think you're really amazing. It's begun! At first, I saw you as a rival, someone that was my equal, but I found myself trying harder to get to the top spot in class because of you. But the more we spoke, the more I found myself softening up. <laughs> you just get me so soft, MC. I mean, just look at my pants right now. No tent at all. I'm just so soft. You encourage me to be the best I can be, but you also allow me to let loose and just have fun. Being with you is fun. I don't want to see you as a rival. I want us to be equals in another way. I know, at first I thought of you as an equal, but not anymore. I know, I was gonna say something about that, but I was like, ugh. <laughs> uh. I don't want to see you as a rival, I want us to be equals in another way. Did I just read that? I might have read that twice. What I'm s trying to say is that I like you, and I'd like to take you out on a date sometime. Oh no, what should I do? Should I just jump out and interrupt them? I see. Hong Yang, you're really cool. Thank you. No, is she going to start dating Hong Yang? But I'm sorry, I'm not interested in dating anyone right now. H huh? May I ask what you mean by that? Things like liking someone, falling in love aren't things I've experienced yet. Yeah, I've kind of already read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could try again in the future? I'm sorry. It's alright, you don't need to apologize. Do you still want to be friends? I... I might need time to accept this, but it would be nice if I could remain on friendly terms. Ao accepted it way better than Hong Yang is. Ao immediately asked if they could still stay friends, and now Emily's the one who has to ask Hong Yang if they can be friends. Thanks for understanding, Ace Pride, you know, hee <laughs> hee. I don't understand. I mean, I'm a real catch, right? What don't you understand about asexual? Uh... But although I don't fully understand, I guess I can live with the fact that you don't like me the way I like you. Hong Yang is finding it a bit difficult to let go. <laughs> He's not... this isn't graceful. It, y yeah, also, that thing about being friends, um, you mind if I rescind that offer? <laughs> I respect your choice. <laughs> I think it's the wrong choice. <laughs> oh, 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 but I respect it. Oh, oh. I think you're wrong. I just want to say, I don't respect your asexuality. I mean, I respect your choice, but I think being asexual is wrong. <laughs> I think you really need to realize why I'm uh, the best guy for you. And if you, if you don't, if you don't accept this offer I'm giving to you right now, you'll regret it. Oh, oh, oh Lord. Oh. 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 Oh god. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my god. The, yeah, the mic can't believe this, guys. Oh my lord. Oh no. <laughs> You're such a joker. Emily can't even react to this. I'm sweating. Emily can't even... She's not even... She's not even accepting this reality. She's just pretending it's not real. I guess I should focus on studying for our next test. I'll show you just how great I am and what you're missing out on. <laughs> okay, I, I can't wait to see. Also, from now on, can, can you do me the favor... Can, can you do me a favor and just not talk to me anymore? <laughs> now, now you're being the jokester, right? <laughs> right? That's a joke. Oh, before I forget. 
Huh? Please don't mention any of this to Al. He'll have a field day over this. Ugh. Such a joker and absolute clown. <laughs> uh. Oh god. You two are really close. Not really. <laughs> oh god, she just ran- She just fucking ran out of there and Hong Yang just followed her. Oh my god. Oh my god. I- Have I been wrong about Hong Yang? I mean, on the Hong Yang route, I was really- I really- I was really stanning him. I was really saying he was really cute, but like- Ugh, he was not- he was not cute just now. As- as Hong Yang and MC leave, I am left with a feeling of relief. If I had known things would end up like this, I wouldn't have needed to worry about MC getting hurt. He told you he doesn't accept failure ever? He did say that. God. Who am I kidding? I never had to worry to begin with. MC isn't a child anymore. She doesn't need me to protect her. She can make yes. She's an independent woman. I guess I was worried for my own selfish reasons. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, actually, what were you doing eavesdropping on those two to begin with? The flags were there. <laughs> uh... Can we, can, can we actually, like, I think we might have to, like, start walking home with MC from now on. I do not feel comfortable with Hong Yang. I do not feel comfortable at all. Like, I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> we might, we might, we might, we might need to get the neighborhood watch on Hong Yang. I thought Al was supposed to ask MC out as well. No guns in Australia? Damn. Damn, sorry guys. You guns are fun, you know. Walking outside not knowing whether you'll live or die. That's it's a, it's a it's a ride. The truth is, I was also going to tell him see how I felt. He gets picked up after school. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I cuz I remember in his route I made fun of him for getting picked up by his mom or whoever he gets picked up by. So I guess his mom will make sure that um he isn't um sexually ass sexually assaulting MC. But I changed my mind. What made you change your mind? You. A excuse me. Up until a week ago, I was pretty sure of the fact that I liked MC and wanted to go out with her. But after spending so much time with you, I wasn't sure anymore. What are you trying to say, Al? Gah. I don't fucking know. My head is all messed up. Huh. <laughs> they don't need guns. Everything under the sun can kill you. This means he likes me, right? I... This is what I wanted. I wanted to make Al and Hong Yang fall for me so that they wouldn't pursue MC. But now that Al is here telling me how he feels... What about me? How do I feel about Al? Let's see... God, it's the same as Hong Yang's route. Oh my god, this is... This is criminal. This is illegal. I just want us to be friends, I guess. God fucking damn this game. This game just won't let me have my boyfriend. How do I say this? Eh? Ow, spending time with you the past week has been fun for me, too. You've got the soft side that... You've got a soft side that for some re re weird... What is English, and why can't I speak it? That for some weird reason, you're embarrassed to show. You're so energetic, and we have similar tastes. In interests. I'm just reading words that don't... That aren't on the screen. I like having you as my friend. <laughs> Just friend. Get it? Friend zoned. I can hear the word friend echoing in his head. Ha. <laughs> right. Friends. We're friends. Friends with benefits, though. But I, I, I should. I, I have to tack that on. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm just not used to having friends. I thought maybe. Maybe? 
nothing. I like being friends with you too, Goom. I'm glad. I look forward to spending the rest of the school year with you, Al. Yeah. This is for the best. I couldn't accept his feelings right now, not considering I only got close to him, to him in order to stop him from asking MC out. You have plans for a sequel? It'll be 18 plus? Oh my god. Come in me, Hong Yang. I'm such a hypocrite, but this way we can remain friends. Mostly safe for work? I haven't seen anything not safe for work in this at all. I don't think I have. Why mostly? What have I seen that's even kind of iffy? I don't think I've seen anything even slightly iffy. Anyway, um, I am extremely offended. <laughs> Can't end up with Hong Yang either, just extremely offended, just like in- I mean, we can't end up with Al, just like we can't end up with Hong Yang. This always comes with Goom having to be like, no, I tricked them. Very offended. This is a personal attack on my liberty as an American. And even Al too- wait, what? What? Wait, what? What did he say? Okay, looks- looks like you've gotten Hong Yang smitten, and even Al too. Would you like to go ahead and play the polyamory route? Two dicks in my mouth at once? Honey, buckle up, buckaroo. Let's get to it then, shall we?